Welcome to iPhone Things, come and take a seat. Today's all about hard light, a setup can't be beat. You'll find all you need in my humble video. So let's stop this little number and get on with the show. <sighs> what is hard lighting? Hard lighting is a lighting setup where the shadows are harsh and deep, making your actor stand out within the scene. It draws attention to your actor and the transition between light and dark is more defined. When the hard lights are pointed directly at your subject, it appears more focused on them. There's a much more complex feel to the shot in comparison to, say, a soft lighting setup. Hard lighting captures an intense feeling within the scene. It allows you to bring out an atmosphere felt by the audience, captivating them, keeping them hooked on every moment. Hard light has similarities to the low-key lighting setup, and both help create tension within your scene, which is perfect for, say, thrillers. How to create a hard light setup. To create hard light, you use a single source of light that provides a high contrast light setup. It creates a direct light and a distinct shadowy effect. When creating hard light, you need to restrict the spread of the light. Unlike with soft and high key lighting setups, it's also helpful to use flags or some other sort of lighting adjustment to ensure that you don't have any additional light creeping in. You want to keep the light as direct as possible. Now, there are a couple of methods to achieve this look. One is the on-axis method. This means you use the light in front of the camera and have it up high to light the scene. Or you can use another one called the Rembrandt setup to achieve hard light as well. Let's use this guide to show you what I'm talking about. Have your backlight pointing directly at the camera from behind your subject, or use a white sheet to bounce the light more evenly, as shown in the diagram. And this will help draw attention to your subject. Then place your key light, if you want to show more detail, beside your backlight and point it at your subject. And lastly, place a black sheet and a white sheet or some sort of reflector next to each other on the opposite side of your subject to the key light, and place another reflector on the other side of the camera. Boom! You've created a great hard light setup. This will create hard light that brings out distinct shadows rather than competing shadows, which will take away from the definition. Hard light and its powerful shadows are also fantastic when you pair them with powerful colours. This can make your scene really just pop. Oh god, still doing okay on time, damn it. When should you use hard lighting? When using hard light, you must consider a few things. You want to use this light setup when looking to create a strong, serious scene with a lot of tension or mystery. It's used to create drama and to give your shot some edge. The hard light also adds dimension and depth to your subject. It oozes seriousness and will give any character you want a menacing feel. As I said, use it wisely and it will add another dimension to your story. The best practices when creating hard lighting. I would say the best practice, or at least just a fun way to do it, is to start with a dark room. Place your subject on their mark and slowly introduce light into your shot. That way you can use the shadows and darkness to your advantage. A great example of hard lighting in film. This lighting setup is particularly favoured by film noir and westerns. But today I'm going to recommend Blade Runner 2049. The sequel to the cult classic Blade Runner. If you have films that have hard lighting setups that you particularly like, then let us know down in the comments. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you in any way, shape, or form. And as always, stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!